Hello, Internet. It is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to Box Office Predictions. Last time we talked about the family-friendly Pinocchio. Now we talk about the not-so-family-friendly Promising Young Woman. So, as usual, we're going to be going over the pros and cons. So, let's get to it. Pros. Now, over the last decade, I've noticed a trend when it comes to releasing movies on Christmas Day. You know, most movies that come out around the Christmas season, they tend to be happy, joyful, positive. Then there are other movies that come out that are not those things. (laughs) We're talking movies like... Uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, Django Unchained, Wolf of Wall Street, and last year's Uncut Gems. All these movies are anything but Christmas movies. But the thing is, they were all successful. They all made quite a bit of money. So, it kind of it's kind of an ingenious move to put a movie like this on Christmas Day, considering how well all those other movies did. So... Yeah, it's clear that people like to see, I guess you can say, anti-Christmas movies. Movies that don't represent the holiday season. So, yeah, I guess that's you can call that a pro. Uh, another pro is that this movie has good reviews. It's obviously, well, this movie, it, is it Oscar bait? It might be. I think News of the World is more obvious Oscar bait. But this could theoretically be nominated for oscars i could see carrie uh what's her name dang it i forgot this is that carrie mulligan i can see her getting an oscar for this movie i can totally see that so you know the good reviews will convince people to watch it I mean, the people who are willing to show up but yeah good reviews never hurt so that's definitely a pro uh another pro i'm trying to think of uh I guess our main actress, Carrie Mulligan. Uh, she was in Drive. I I love Drive. It's a shame that the movie wasn't successful because the marketing was kind of a lie and people were pissed off that they were expecting like this action movie and they end up getting an, an art film. So obviously they weren't happy about that. But yeah, I remember her from that movie. So, yeah, I mean, sure, her track record isn't the greatest, but I feel like, you know, she's mostly, most of her bigger roles are from supporting roles, like Public Enemies and The Great Gatsby. But, yeah, I mostly know her from Drive. And, you know, in all those movies, like, she was generally a nice person, you know, a good-hearted soul, good-hearted soul. This is not that. She, she's going against type. Because this is a revenge thriller. I'll read you the synopsis. Everyone said Cassie was a promising young woman until a mysterious event abruptly derailed her future. But nothing in Cassie's life is what it appears to be. She's wickedly smart, tantalizingly cunning, and she's living a secret double life by night. Now an unexpected encounter is about to give Casey a chance to right the wrongs of the past. So yeah, not exactly a nice girl. <laughs> She's not playing the nice girl she was in other she played in other movies. So I feel like that could lead to a bit of interest. You know, for people who are interested in her work. So yeah, that's I I guess you consider that a pro. Cons. Pandemic. Pandemic getting worse. Less theaters available. I've said this before already in the last two videos. I really don't need to say it again. But yeah, that's still happening. I mean, I highly doubt this would have gotten a super wide release anyway. But still, less theaters typically means less money or less potential money. So that's definitely a pro, a con. My bad. Uh, I mean, comparison to other movies that are coming out on Christmas, mainly Wonder Woman. If this might get left in the dust, which would be a bit of a shame, but. That's just how it is sometimes. <laughs> you know, a lot of movies that have, you know, good reputations, they tend to just <laughs> just get crushed because people are more interested in other movies, even if said other movies aren't as good. That's just what happens. So, 
Yeah, that's definitely a con. Is that it might fall under the? I forgot what I said. It might just you know, be ignored in comparison to say Wonder Woman. Uh, I think that's it. That's all I can really say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So opening weekend, I'm going to say. Two to three million dollars. And overall I'm going to predict. Somewhere in the range of. Eight. To twelve million dollars. Total. That's what I think. I don't know if it will reach that. But that's what I'm guessing. Okay. I've been wrong before. I've been horribly wrong before. So what do I know? (laughs) But that's my prediction on that. So yeah, that's it for Promising Young Woman. And now, next time, the big one, Wonder Woman 1984. Yes, we have a lot to talk about when I make that video. But then after that, that's it for 2020. That'll be my last box office prediction for the year. You won't see me again doing this until January, like January 8th, according to this calendar. So... Yeah, so I guess we're almost there. We're we're at the home stretch. So yeah, that's it. That's all. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn on notifications, share the whole drill. Want to check out more videos on the channel? I have a playlist on the home page full of all the previous movies I've covered on the. You know, I've covered their predictions. I don't. Even, it's late. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I've done box office predictions for all the movies that came out this year. I know it's not a lot, but please cut me some slack. So you want to check any of those out, go right ahead. I also have two other playlists. I have uh, box office recaps. I go over the box office results for any particular month. Recently, I've been doing double recaps. I just did October and November. I will do December and January, but that won't come out till February. So you're going to have to wait a while to see that. And I also have the Cancelled series that goes over all the movies that were supposed to come out at this point, but didn't. You know, movies like Dune and Top Gun Maverick and Free Guy. and Great, now I'm just making myself sad. You know what, that's it. We're ending the video. Alright, um, goodbye. Just bye.